before moving on to the Lia script specific features, such as quizzes, surveys, animations, ASCII art, etc. Comma. We would like to present a last feature that is common to many markdown dialects and these are footnotes. So, what are footnotes in general and when to use them? Footnotes are notes at the foot of the page while endnotes are collected under a separate heading at the end of a chapter, volume, or entire work. Unlike footnotes, endnotes have the advantage of not affecting the layout of the main text, but may cause inconvenience to readers who have to move back and forth between the main text and the endnotes. In Lear script, a section, which is defined by a header and a body, resembles a page. Thus, the body might contain a couple of footnote marks, while the actual footnotes have to be defined at the end of the body. Other markdown interpreters might define a more widespread usage of footnotes. But in Lear script, this is not possible at the moment. We pass interpret only one section at a time and not the entire document. So keep this in mind when using footnotes. The standard way of creating footnotes is to attach a marker to important elements within your sections. A marker is defined by brackets with a starting caret. Then you can insert numbers, symbols and words. At the end of your body, you simply add a list with all indented remarks you want to add. This list starts with your markers, that are followed by a colon. Your notes or footnote bodies can consist of multiple paragraphs and all other block elements that you have mentioned so far, but they have to be indented with at least two spaces. By clicking onto the footnote, all of your comments will be shown in a modal view in all view modes. If you're in textbook mode, then these footnotes are additionally displayed at the very end of the current page. Hi, I'm Laura from YoungWritersWorkshops.com, and I'm going to talk about how to use footnotes. A footnote can be used um, in, a, in a couple different ways. The first uh, most common way is if you want to credit someone. Um, so, for example, if you um, give a quote or use a quote in a paper, you can footnote by giving the complete citation. Um, depending on the format that you're following, um, a APA, MLA, for uh, exact etc. You might have different ways that you format that footnote. Um, another Footnotes are notes at the foot of the page while en The following idea of defining inline footnotes was borrowed from latex. If you want to add only some text without further markdown syntax then you can add this in parentheses to your footnote mark. In this case it is not necessary to add a more sophisticated explanation to the end of the sections. 